My name is Annika Solomon. I'm Columbia College class of 15 and I'm a 2012 Core Scholar. Um, I wrote a four-part poem titled Departure. Um, part one, Daedalus. Grandmother dressed in gossamer, lacrimose in a cage of ribs, since limpid and light as a bee's wing, singing hymns within my chest. She pleads with me for her release, but I pull my skin tighter and tell her, I am the protector. With God, you will find only fire and light. She, but she shakes her head and replies that I have not died. I would not know. She sings like a songbird, her, her face in my flesh, and whispers my heart gives her no heat. I cry, for it beats only for her. And I tell her she may go if I may go with her. And softly she agrees. I call to the goose who gives me her feathers, and I fabricate wings for grandmother and I. She spills her skin across mine. I have been too dead too long. This body is not everlasting. I forgive her and we begin to fly. I plunge weighed down and melting. She sways and enters the sky. Part two, Dido. The most sublime lovers love too strong. They live among the solid world, the corporeal, but quiver and implore a kiss, a sweetness that dissolves when they exit alone. They tarnish in absence and like stones within the sea erode, left for the dead and for the shades, for the fate of the vulture's beak, which pries a skeleton apart. Bones remind of what once was and a form and a, and a blood that tended to a heart. Show me the hour, love, when you are last to leave, so that I may prepare to spoil and fall to ruins like a great city which once seemed undying. When the day comes, allow me to see you once more before you are swallowed by the har harrowed horizon. Oh, then I shall go mad and demand, ascend thy own pyre. Part three, Daphne. I deny your caress amongst the greenery of the conservatory. As the geranium spiral, their thin bodies shudder. The stigma forms a green fist wavering in the drenched air. Your body extends, reaching toward my breastbone. But my flesh is no more than a flower edge clawing towards the sky. This is all that I am made of, virtuous terror. I fold in and out like the petals of an indecisive flower. But I am no sinner, no hand may touch me unannounced. I am sweeter than the fall's final blossom, but I will never know decay. I deny all putrescence. My soul was born into a body of coarse fibers. The touch flesh skin sultry, but I deny tangibility. I am not sacred. I am no temple nor anything divine. Still I am untouchable, a female form cast beneath bark. I deny your caress with a howl of distress and a final breath. The lilies mimic your expression as I push your hand away, and on the walls, veiled by moss, the statues swivel their heads, they cry. There is no talk of immortality, I am in a hurry to die. Part four, Dante. If I am alive, then once I was dead. This is my cane, these are my knees. I, can, I cannot tell how far I have walked. Tell me quick, how do I expose this knot of worms my fingers have become. The lives of the dead unravel at my touch. Beware, beware, I will toss away this cane when my passage comes to an end. I am only alive among the dead, only old among the young. Somehow you re restore me. When in thought we join, my hands grow green life in spite of the shades. I was once dead with you, and sometimes I pretend to be, to gain your affection. I swear to you, I will soon rise to your haven. Until then, I will walk beside my guide, although there is breath on my tongue. Why am I cold? Will this go on?